Hello, good morning everybody. Bob Miramar once again in the day of hope in Jesus Christ. So, this is another day and uh, Tuesday, April uh, 7, 2020. How are you? How are you today? How are you doing this time? It is my hope, it is my joy that you are uh, being reached uh, by this uh, broadcast today. and uh, You are doing fine and you are doing good. And your life is just uh, accelerating. <laughs> Karoon tayo ng mga panahon ng uh, uh, pag-unlad kahit na naka-lockdown sapagkat ang mga kabutihan at ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon kailanman na hindi maila-lockdown. Let me just share with you what is found in 1 Peter chapter 5 from verse 6 and 7. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. It is so good to know that there is somebody who is powerful enough. The, the, that, 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 that somebody who created all things in the world and the one who created our universe and the one who created everything, including the world that we enjoy today. Friends, whatever kind of situation... Whatever kind of struggle or uh, problem or or hardship that that would that will come across our way, remember somebody cares for you. Good enough that all of your cares will be dealt with. And what it says: number one, you humble yourselves before the mighty hand of God. That means yes, it is good. To be submitting to our authorities, it is good to be submitting to our, to our government. It is good to be submitting to those people who are running the affairs of our daily life in the government and the governance that God had allowed us to have. But it is also important that we should, um, we should, you know, submit to the hand of God, the hand of power, the hand of all authority. And even the Lord Jesus Christ, He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Him. So, let us also cast our trust and our faith in Him under the mighty, powerful hand of God, so that God will also promote us in due time. And casting all of our care upon Him, for He cares for you. Whatever the thing that you have, whatever the things that you have, in your heart as your burden as your problem as uh, the things that uh, created that uh, heavy load in your life trust in god and give it to him the lord cares for you the lord wants to really bless you because though we are locked down in our daily life and uh, our our daily exhibition of life has been put on hold uh, three four weeks ago uh, three to four weeks ago until today and we do not know what's going to happen next but praise god the lord is good in psalms 37 verse 5 it says commit your way unto the lord trust him and he will act, he will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. The Lord will provide us the way. As for me, Psalms 40 verse 17, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. Do not delay, O oh my God. Purihin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Another passage of the scripture, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you are going to eat, what you are going to drink, or what you are going to put on your body, what you will put on as your clothing. Is it not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Wow. So God has given us the reason why we should trust Him and why we should be casting all our cares to Him. 
if you find people, if you find uh, groups of people that are helping people, eh, well, that's good. <clears throat> our front frontliners, our our health workers, our peacekeeping peacekeeping force, our interagency task force, and the elements of these task forces uniting together to take control of the situation against COVID-19 and it's spread out. It's good. And we thank them. But above anything else, above anyone can do, there is God who can do most those things that people can't do. Let us cast our cares to Him. Let us cast our burdens let us cast unto Him our fears and believe that He cares for us. Believe in the Lord and believe also in the Lord Jesus Christ. That the Word of God says, if you would, you would find yourself trusting in the Lord, whatever thing that you may ask in prayer by faith, you believe in your heart and it shall be given to you. Bye for now. And this is the day of hope in Jesus Christ.